you going everyone? Corey Baker here. What I've got to show you today are the Jurassic Park franchise soundtracks. Um, I've got them here in the physical form in, on CD. And what I want to do today is go through all of them and tell you what are my favourite ones and what are my favourite tracks and show you what the discs look like. So let's get into it. So first up, we've got the one and only the very first movie, the one that started it all, my favourite one of the series, of course, because the first movie of, of a franchise is usually always the best one, and this movie was fantastic, as you might have known. Anyway, we got music composed and conducted by the legendary John Williams. This guy's an um, absolute legend in uh, movie soundtracks. He's done a whole bunch of them. Um, here we go, we've got the, uh, all the, t all the uh, names of the tracks here. Really cool titles. We've got like Incident on Isla Nublar and The Raptor Attack, Journey to the Island. And yeah, they're pretty cool. The disc is absolutely freaking amazing. Look how cool that is. That's just basically it's just the T-Rex logo on a disc. And we're gonna have a look through the little booklet you get from this CD. You're gonna get there's the the, the there's the logo, the front logo. And here we get you know, just an overview of the all the tracks you get on the CD, and a few nice artworks. Here's a cool, here's a cool one you don't usually see. You don't really see that, that one, that picture. Fold this out like that. It comes a big picture like that. So yeah, just a really cool little book that you get with it. You get, like, you get this for most CDs. I don't know about you, but I don't really own many CDs. I, mostly all my music is on um, from iTunes and stuff on uh, digital format. But this is a really cool, this, it just looks so sim simplistic. I love this soundtrack. Now, to talk about my favorite ones from the very first movie, the very favorite tracks, you can't go wrong with the theme of Jurassic Park. That's the one that started it all. That's the, the classic Jurassic Park theme. But personally, my favorite ones out of this whole soundtrack has to be um, Journey to the Island, that's when they're on the heli uh, helicopter and they've got that really nice uh, music there and uh, I definitely like My Friend the Brachiosaurus, that's where they see the Triceratops and um, oh, man to be honest look, every, every, every track is fantastic but um, another one which is a really nice one is just Tree for My Bed if you like the Jurassic Park movies, you can just what just listen to Tree in My Bread and just dream about Jurassic Park. I'll uh, put a few. Um, I'll, what I'll do is because I'm gonna have to I have to avoid uh, uh, breach and copyright laws of YouTube. But what I'll do is I'll just put very small snippets of my favorite tracks right now. Next we've got the Lost World soundtrack. Now a lot of people don't like this movie. I don't. I don't know why. Because to me, the Lost World was almost as good as Jurassic Park, if not the same. I love them both equally. They, I think it's because it's it's just such a different film than Jurassic Park. The whole mood is different, and to match the mood, John Williams composed another really fantastic soundtrack with a whole different feel and it's fantastic and we're gonna look at that right now. And what we got here is I've got this special one which I thought I was, uh, oh, this was like a rare one until my buddies at uh, Jurassic Cast, Jack and Sam, they both have this. But, and so it's a big fold out um, thing. Look at this big T-Rex here, there he is. And uh, yeah, so I thought I was, I thought this was, I was like special habit for having this, but a lot of people have this, this one. And you get the disc here, which is the Jurassic Park T Rex again, but with cracked edges this time. The other one was all smooth and all red, but this one matches the Lost World look. 
if we look across to the back, here are all the tracks that John Williams made for this one. My favourites of this, of this uh, one is the Malcolm's Journey track. That's really fantastic. The overall main theme of the Lost World is just awesome. I really like it. It's just, uh, just such an adventure feel to it. Um, and another really good one. I love the I love the uh, Visitor of San Diego one and um, Ludlow's Demise. Just it's all really good one. I think a really good one is the Raptors Appear. Sounds awesome. Next, we have the soundtrack of the infamous Jurassic Park 3. Now, Jurassic Park 3, a lot of people hated this movie, but I, I, I can see what's wrong with it, but I can like it because I was very young when I saw this movie, so I have a lot of nostalgic factors that come into play when I think about this movie. So that's a lot of reason why I actually kind of like it when I watch it. But this movie wasn't uh, composed by John, John Williams, it was composed and conducted by Don Davis, which is a new guy. And look, he, his, his soundtrack wasn't bad at all. I actually really like his track that he did, which is called um, Brachiosaurus on the Bank. It's a really nice um, version of John Williams' classic theme, and it's probably my favourite um, track of this soundtrack. And another really cool one is, I still like Dinosaur Flyby. It's another really good version of the Jurassic Park theme. It's good to listen to. And uh, yeah, but I really hate the family theme of this one with the Kirby's. It's just a really annoying. I, I, when I where I hear that, I just think of the Kirby's and I just don't like it. Because uh, Mrs. Kirby and Mr. Kirby were very annoying in this movie. And uh, yeah, so it's very good. Um, I still, don't, I actually like the logo of Jurassic Park Freak. When I remember, when I, I remember when I was excited to see the Spinosaurus until I saw him kill the T Rex. Spoiler alert, that happens. All right, so we're gonna let's look at the leaflet, the uh, little booklet you got, the big Spinosaurus there. I'm gonna wreck, I'm gonna wreck everything. Here he is, he's just Dr. Grant, pretty distressed there. There's the uh, anatro uh, animatronic Rex, the robotic Rex they use, which they never actually put into the movie. There's the credits for the soundtrack. I remember that was a f that was that picture was what we saw before the movie came out, which got you pretty excited for the movie. <coughs> so yeah, that's the uh, little booklet. And the disc looks like this. It's a red again, like the other discs, but with a pteranodon uh, silhouette there. So let's have a look over Let's have a quick listen to Brachiosaurus on the bank. Alrighty guys, now this is the newest one, and the one I got the other day, the Jurassic World soundtrack, music by Marco Giacchino. I hope I'm saying that right, but I don't know. Now I got this one for the other day because I only had this on iTunes, and I listened to this one a lot. I actually really like what Mar Michael Giacchino did with this soundtrack. It's probably one of my favourite things about Jurassic World, to be honest. Here's all the tracks. Now I've got a quite a few favourite tracks from this soundtrack. Uh, my first favourite is the As the Jurassic World Turns track and that's a really awesome new main theme for this movie that Michael Giacchino made up. I freaking love that, that's beautiful. And uh, next one we've got, which I really like, is Chasing the Dragons. That's when the Velociraptors are riding alongside Chris Pratt on the motorcycle. That's a really awesome track and I tell you what, go driving with that music and you have to drive so fast you get way too into the music. Uh, Raptor your heart out, and that's really cool because these also, he, he, what Michael Shigeshino did is he did threw back to a lot of other little themes from the Jurassic Park franchise. And in Raptor your heart out, there's a kind of throwback to, um, cause he, he composed the Lost World PS1 game. And uh, one of the, the Raptor theme from that game is actually used in Raptor your heart out. So that's really cool. Costa Rican standoff, that's another little throwback almost to John Williams, 
when uh, Ian Malcolm and Sarah Harding and all that, uh, Kelly, are in the workers' village um, in Lost World and the raptors attack them. That sounds just like that. Um, Costa Rican standoff, it's really awesome. Plus you get at the end of Costa Rican standoff is the uh, little Jurassic Park um, theme nod when the T-Rex comes out. Uh, our Rex is bigger than yours. I really like it when the Rex comes out, the big uh, new theme of the Jurassic World plays. It's really good. Um, and I like Nine to Survival Job at the very end of that music. It's big, big uh, boom, you know, when the T-Rex comes out and looks at the uh, island. So yeah, basically, I really, really love Jurassic World soundtrack. So let's have a look at what uh, it looks like inside. So instead of red, we've got we've just got the uh, kind of darkish kind of logo that you got in all the posters for the disc there, and you got a really cool picture of Chris Pratt and Rat Raptors on the inside, and it actually has a booklet, but it's a little bit of hidden one in between the uh, in there. So we'll actually have a look at that. There we go with the uh, logo. We've all got the tracks there. I, I actually really love this soundtrack. This is my favourite thing about the movie, was the soundtrack by far. And there's the kids there. And then you've got all the credits for what, who did what. On the, like, on the piano, on the flutes and all that sort of stuff. And more credits. Baritone. Ba bass. There's the cool, all with cool pictures on the side. And there's a little write-up actually back here that he wrote. Um, G, Michael G. Chenna wrote a little write-up on there, so you want to pause the uh, video and you can read that. That's, and uh, Colin, Colin Trevorrow wrote a bit of a write-up there, so that's pretty cool as well. I've never actually, uh, haven't read that yet, so pause the video if you want to read that and then there's that so we'll just put that back in back in there There we got it, guys. I love owning these in physical copies. Uh, they are a must if you're a fan of Jurassic Park. And I hope you enjoyed that little rundown of all of the soundtracks. So, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe. And if, if you want to win some Tops cards, go and watch my part two of my Tops box opening. Because uh, I'm going to give away some po uh, Tops cards. So, I'm doing a little giveaway in the moment. So, if you're interested in that, go and watch that video. Link in the description below. Anyway guys, so hope you enjoyed that little video. Subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.